Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. I'm here with my girlfriend Kelly. Hey. So Kelly had a little bit of free time, so I asked her to be in the video. I know people are complaining. She works and I work too, so I try to get videos out as fast as I can just for myself, but I will try to have Kelly back on the video more more often. So hope you guys enjoy it. If you like fragrance related content, make sure you show your support by clicking the red subscribe button down below. I really appreciate that. Make sure you click the bell icon um, and make sure you like the video if you like this type of content. I really would appreciate it. They were talking about new fragrance from the House of Christian Dior. This fragrance came out in 2020. So this fragrance here is Rose Trafalgar. And this video I'm gonna break down how it performs on my skin, see if Kelly likes it because she wore it a few days ago and let you know about if it's worth buying it or sampling. Before the video starts, I'm gonna announce the three giveaway winners that I announced when I did my haul video with these two fragrances, Rose Trafalgar, Dior Vanilla Rama, and Dior Sauvage Elixir. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my email down below. So if your name is called, I'm gonna pin your comment above the screen here and email me within the next week or so, within the next five days, and I will ship out your product to you. Um, if you don't contact me within five days from this video being posted, I won't ship it out to you, so I do apologize. So keep in mind, you have five days, guys, to watch this video. Number three winner for Rose Trafalgar, which we're talking about today, is none other than Derek. I'm gonna leave his comment right here on the board here. I think it's Derek Blake, if I'm correct. I'll leave his comment right here on the screen for a sample of Rose Trafalgar. The second winner we have is for Vanilla Del Rama, and it's no other than Joel Burrow uh, for a sample of Vanilla Del Rama. And number one winner for Dior Sauvage Elixir, which I will send out maybe a little bit later just because I'm letting another fragrance viewer uh, borrow my bottle, but I will definitely get you a sample out whether from my bottle or I'll order you one through a fragrance sample website. Number one winner is uh, Devin Coy, uh, C-O, Y-L-E. Might be coil. Coil. If I, I do apologize, but you won number one for your survival elixir, a sample. So everybody that won, please email me down below and I will get your sample out too as soon as I can. I might be a little late with the Dior Sauvage Elixir, but the other bottles I have here on my set. Today we're talking about Rose Trafalgar by Christian Dior. So this bottle here is expensive it's from the private line. So this one you can really get at Dior or at um, Saks uh, Fifth Avenue. So this bottle here is 125 mil. It's gonna run you about $250. Okay, they do have a bigger size. If you want to get a bigger bottle, it's going to run you uh, $350 for double the size of 125, so about 250. And they do have a 15 ounce bottle if you want to go overboard for $450. I'll leave all the prices down below at the Christian Dior website. Note breakdown. So we have notes of raspberry, we have strawberry, cherry, mandarin, orange in the top. The mid, we have black currant, grapefruit. Top it off in the base, we have musk and patchouli. I'm gonna spray it on my skin, I'm gonna spray it on Kelly's skin. She wore it a few days ago when we did some fragrance videos with Steven from Rider Lessons. Shout out to Steven. And um, yeah, let's see if she still likes it from the time she wore it. And I'm gonna spray it on my skin as well. I've worn this, man, I wore this on our vacation. We went to Lang City a couple days ago, I wore this fragrance. Um, sprayers are amazing. Um, I like the beautiful bottle presentation. The few times I've worn it, I do get that fresh watery feel and the fruitiness in it from the strawberries and the raspberries in the fragrance. So it gives a fruity feel. I like it. And some people might say it leans feminine or male. I feel like a man or girl could wear it. It's raspberry, it's cherries. Is it sweet? Yes. But there's a watery feel to it where I feel like it's not overly sweet where you say, oh, it's a feminine fragrance. I think a guy could pull it off as well as a girl. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't really understand gendering sense anyways, but... Um I like this one a lot. It's lovely, sweet. It's not, it's not like super sweet like in your face. It's, uh, I think it's very well balanced. It's usually patchouli, no go for me. I don't usually like patchouli things. Um, but I feel like just the way that they mix this together, it just works really well. I don't know what, which like note specifically like really brings it out. Maybe it is just the mix of them, but I just really love the way that this one smells. Very nice. I like it. I mean, the sweetness in it, the mandarin orange give a little bit of a freshness. So there's a freshness about this as well. It's not overly freshy. Like it's not like a bergamot, no. a citrus, but there's orange in it. So there's a freshness about it, but mainly there's more sweetness with the raspberry, the cherry, the strawberry. It gives it a nice um, sweetness, a kind of fruitiness as well in the fragrance. And um, the few times I've worn, I really enjoy wearing it. I mean, I had a sample from when I bought another fragrance and I wore that sample and I was like, oh, I gotta buy a bottle. And I eventually, I eventually fell 
in love with the fragrance. I enjoy it that much. Let's talk about the performance. So projection on me, it's an hour on your skin, like that first hour of projection you can catch whiffs of the fragrance. I would say about half an arm's length. It doesn't go farther than that, so it's not a heavy beast mode scent, no. which isn't bad. Longevity, you're looking at about five hours on my skin, so it doesn't last that very long, but it's one of the scents that if you really like the fragrance that much, you can reapply it. It's a 125 ml bottle at the end of the day, so you're gonna you're gonna wear your plenty fragrance. Of juice. Yeah, plenty of juice. I do about um, about six sprays on my skin, so when I five to six sprays, I get about five hours and I'm happy with it. It does come closer and closer to the skin after every hour, but by the five hour mark, it's close to the skin when you gotta dig your nose and smell. Five hours is not bad to wear a fragrance. You can always reapply it. You can wear this fragrance pretty much any occasion I feel like in my book. You can wear it dressed up or dressed down. Um, I feel like it's more of a warm scent for spring and summer, but if you're inside doors in the cold weather seasons, if you have cold weather like fall and winter time, you can wear it in the office. People are gonna like it. I don't think it's an inoffensive fragrance at all. It'd be a nice reminder of spring. Yes, yeah, so you think about spring when it's actually cold outside and stuff like that. Now, my friend Jerome, I gave him a sample of it. He loves the fragrance. Um, he'll probably leave a comment down below. He loves it. Um, he was skeptical because of the, the longevity is in that five hour mark. He wished he got eight or nine. I understand that, especially for 250, but at the same time, I always tell him, I tell everybody else, yeah, if you love your fragrance that much and you can afford it, you're not gonna go broke, mm -hmm. you can wear the fragrance. The fragrance is meant to be worn. You don't just keep it in the bottle. You're meant to be worn, you know, the whole year or every couple of warm weather months. Just wear your fragrance. You don't buy the fragrance to keep in the closet just to collect dust. Ratings for it, I would give it a nine out of 10. It smells really good. I'm not gonna give it a 10 because a lot of people are not gonna pay $250 for a 125 ml bottle of Christian Dior because there's plenty of other designer fragrances you could probably get. Yeah, I would also give it a 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, just for, I mean, I understand why it's priced that way just because it's like, ooh, you know, this other collection mm -hmm. and from Dior. And I really like what this collection's putting out but it is so expensive. Yes, I, I would recommend people to go to a, a Christian Dior boutique. Um, or if you're in New try York City, out. try it out because they have a big boutique there and then some of the Saks stores have it too and you can spray it on your skin. They let you spray them on your skin and walk around the store and see how it performs on your skin. You don't want to buy this blind buying and it doesn't perform or you don't like it. No. <laughs> Especially for $250, that's a lot of fragrance you can buy. So like I said, I enjoy this one a lot and if I didn't really enjoy it, I wouldn't spend that much money for it. Kelly knows me, I'm not just buying every fragrance just to buy it. Do you think it's something a lot of people would like, male or female or no? I think it's a very generally pleasing scent. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't see how people would not like this one. Okay. So I, I think like this is a good one to check out for okay. sure. Thank you for watching another fragrance video. If you have tried Christian Dior Rose Trafalgar, let me know in the comment section below. Do you like it? You love it or you hate it? Or have you tried Christian Dior Vanilla Diorama? Let me know in the comment section below. I will have a full review on that fragrance coming up very soon. Thank you guys for watching another fragrance video. Thank you, Kelly, for being another video. Of course, um, If you guys like this type of content, make sure you like the video. I really appreciate it. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like fragrance-related content like this and would like to see more of it. And make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and give away nice to well. We both care about you guys a lot out there in the world. Be safe, and we'll see you guys next video. Peace. Bye.